right guys so in the last video i talked about um, how there was a couple of little issues with the masterbuilt 560 um, pretty much all the gravity series have this this issue uh, if i'm not mistaken the newer ones are coming with this modification that i'm going to show you how to do today uh, but if you got one bought within the last year i'm certain it doesn't come with that so um what i'm going to be doing today is we're going to be modifying the charcoal grate and the wood grate that's on the bottom but above the ash bin it is going to stop all of the big chunks from falling through um, and if you don't know what i mean i'm about to show you right now so if you can see in here this is my ash bucket and you can see all of the big unburned pieces um, that are falling through so you're wasting a lot of charcoal or a lot of wood you know a lot of fuel um, so this is just the 560 series I do have some uh, I do have some fuel still in there some lump but we're gonna be doing this today probably the wrong way but that's okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that your hoppers empty otherwise this is going to happen but not too bad. So this is our separator grate. And as you can see, those holes in there are incredibly large. And so what we're gonna be doing today is showing you how to make those holes just a little bit smaller to keep from using so much fuel. All right, guys, so we got our ash grate out, <clears throat> as you can see. And so, this modification is super simple, but this is what we're going to be using. These are just some stainless steel skewers that I bought at Walmart earlier today. I think they cost me like a dollar fifty, um, if that. And <clears throat> this is a four pack, which is all I'm going to be using. I've seen a bunch of other videos do it do it different ways. I think this way is going to work the best um, for me. I think this also depends on what kind of fuel you're using, depends um, what kind of briquettes you're using or if you're using lump or whatever. What I recommend doing first is actually getting a few burns in with whatever you're going to be using and then see see how that ash is when, once you dump it. I think that's, uh, that's the best way to do it, but here we go. So um, I've seen some people put them this way. I think that probably works too. We're going to be putting ours this way. That really breaks those down right in half. And this is super simple. So these are just stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about them rusting. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, what I'm gonna do is just lay it on there and take a quick little measurement. So I probably just need to make it, we're gonna wanna make it so it doesn't interfere with the brackets that it fits into so um and these are they're pretty tough but i'm going to be using some side cutters to cut these um just some simple old side cutters that i've got if you've got um, tin snips or shears those would probably work a whole lot better um but this works too so now we've got us just a nice little stainless steel chunk of metal and all we're gonna do is I'm gonna go up underneath that center bar and I'm gonna push it and that's all I'm gonna do that is literally how simple this modification should be it's not going to go anywhere these these bars are, are heavy enough that it's not gonna there's not gonna be too much weight right here anyways you have all of this other that's gonna be handling the weight even if it heats up, it's not going to, to let go. You've got plenty on the edges. You're not overhanging. So this is going to be good. You don't want to make it too long because then it won't fit, fit where it goes. Um, I cheated for this. I already had some more cut. And so once again, all we're going to do is just going to go underneath. We're just going underneath that center bar. And then we're going to push it up from underneath and push it. And keep it right there in the center. I'm not gonna put one here. 
And the reason I'm not going to put one here is because that is where your fire starter goes. So your fire starter, if you, if you use this, I'm not sure that I would put one here. Um, it will, it could possibly interfere with the amount of fire that actually gets your charcoal going. If you use a different way to light your charcoal other than um, using this hole, if you use an actual fire starter, uh, you know, a, a flame, a torch or something, then sure, put one there. I don't see it would, would hurt at all. Uh, but because of the way that I do it, I'm going to not put one right here. So I'm going to skip that one. Once again, just go straight up underneath here. Push it in. Fits right in. And then on the last one, obviously, same thing. Try to center it up as much as possible. And that's it. You don't want too much hanging over on this side either because of how it flushes up to the top. Um, I think this is a really good way to do it. I think it's a simple way to do it. And I think it fixes it. Um, obviously, you still have a gap here. But honestly, that one gap, you've just taken out all of these other gaps. I think that one gap is going to be fine. Now let's go put it on the grill and see what it looks like. All right, guys. So we're back out at the at the master built. Um, got my grate ready, as you can see, and we're just gonna slide it back up. Uh, let me show you, just in case uh, if if you didn't put yours together, you're not real familiar. There's some brackets right up here that this actually sits into. So it'll actually sit up in those brackets. And the reason you don't want to want, didn't want to push those skewers so far is because they would eventually hit the back, um, and then it wouldn't sit in the brackets right, and your your door wouldn't close properly. So let's go ahead. We're just going to slide it in there and see if it fits good. That's it. That um, that fit perfect. And now you can see from this view just exactly how much less room there is, um, so all those big chunks won't fall down. We'll show you from this view too. And like I say, you know, that, that one middle section that's missing, it's not going to affect it that much. Um, the one next to it is where the fire starter goes. And as you can see, you've already got two bars right there too. So um, I think this is gonna work good. We've got some cleaning to do on this thing, you can see. Um, and I'm gonna go over all of this in my, my review that I do tomorrow, but you can see all of the soot build up here, which um, is not uncommon. All the master builds are gonna do this if you use wood. So there it is, master built 560, great. One more view right under here. And that's it, that's how you make the Masterbuilt great modification. Uh, see you guys next time.